Hi, my name is Zach Condi, and my topic that I've chosen to research is pollution and climate change affecting coral reefs. Uh, why I chose this topic is I've always had a love for the ocean, and specifically coral reefs. I think the biodiversity they house is just so important to our ecosystem as a whole. And so a couple of definitions to get out of the way first are coral reefs in general. It's a ridge of rock in the sea formed by the growth and deposit of coral. Uh, pollution is the presence in or introduction into the environment of a substance, substance or thing that has harmful or poison effects. Uh, this is important because a lot of the pollution that we typically uh, think of is trash and garbage, but noise pollution also has a great impact on coral reefs, such as from the boating and fishing industry. Uh, and then lastly is climate change, is a change in global or regional climate patterns. In particular, a change apparent from the mid to late 20th century and attributed to the increased levels of atmospheric carbon dioxide produced by the use of fossil fuels. Uh, there are several voices surrounding the coral reef uh, discussion as a whole. The first one that I found was the Coral Reef Alliance organization, whose motto is We Believe in Coral Reefs. Uh, millions of people and species of wildlife depend on reefs. Climate change, however, threatens this future. Luckily, they are able to adapt and survive, but only if we keep them healthy. Tourism and coastal cities would be in danger from losing most of their economic values and losing the natural protections that reefs give. In an interview with the director, Manuel Meja, he states, not only do coral reefs inhabit one of the greatest biodiversity habitats in the world, like I mentioned earlier, but they provide humanity with lots of medicine and food for millions of people. Uh, the second voice is a scientist named Catherine Collins, who says that the, it is important to protect the reefs, but the way that we are going about it is all wrong. Uh, so one of the main prevention or protection methods being used right now is coral gardening. And she says this is ineffective and is used more for looks rather than being effective in protecting the reefs. Uh, the coral garden fix lacks the biodiversity that reefs need to sustain the ocean's wildlife species. Rather than focusing on making reefs look pretty temporarily, she believes more drastic changes need to occur, such as policies being put into place to reduce pollution, and if needed, moving the reefs and growing them in a more protected area. And the third voice that I found was the Environmental Protection Agency, or the EPA. In order to try and minimize pollution, the EPA is implementing Clean Water Acts that protect water quality in coastal zones. Uh, they're also working to reduce trash from entering ocean waters and are also working with the states and military to avoid oil spills and improving sewer systems. Along with this, they provide funding and technical assistance to the state and territory, coral monitoring, and assessment programs. Uh, they've even listed some coral species as endangered to further to ensure further protection. Sorry. Uh, there are many things at stake here if there is nothing done to protect our coral reefs. Marine wildlife and humans alike will both suffer consequences. This, however, will cost lots of money that could make people hesitant to donate. Uh, the foremost reason being is there's no guarantee that their money will do anything proactive. Various coral reef protection organizations, however, have clarified that coming together to accomplish set goals, such as growing reefs and reducing pollution, will make an adamant impact on coral reef protection. Uh, the central debate surrounding this issue is debating whether the cost and efforts are worthwhile in saving the coral reefs, if the donations and if the donations are actually making an impact. There are also many people who argue if the trash doesn't go into the ocean, where else are we going to put it? If we burn it instead, that creates more the that increases the temperature of the atmosphere, which in in do uh, increases climate change as well. And so, along with this, no one can actually stop climate change. And so, what's the point of all this if it's just going to keep coming? Cause and effect is a direct level of stasis that applies here because the pollution and climate change are the cause of reef destruction. Which brings me to my question, what should be done to protect our coral reefs? And is it our responsibility as a human race to reduce pollution to save this oceanic ecosystem? Thank you.